today, I'm gonna to show you something brand new from Kimono Joe that is so top secret, even I didn't know what it was until yesterday. Let's get into it. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome to the garage. You know, it's always an exciting time when we're in the garage, because it usually means something like this happens. That's right, we're doing an unboxing, and for the first time ever, I'm unboxing something that I don't even know what it is. I have this two weeks in advance of the official launch date. Komodo Joe is not telling anyone what it is. They just told me, you'll see when it arrives and you unpack it. If you've got any questions, let us know. So, you know, I, this arrives on a pallet, obviously from Komodo Joe, it's some type of Kamado style cooker. They've been working on it for several years at this point and the official announcement is coming out in a couple weeks and I'm lucky enough to do an unboxing and have a first look at it. But it's really weird because I open up the packing slip in my excitement and it says Komodo Joe connected smoker and I'm like, all right, that doesn't tell me anything. So today what we're doing is we're gonna officially unbox this guy. We're gonna put it together. We're gonna have a look. We're in the garage because it is 35 mile an hour winds outside and raining. So at least I get to look at this thing and then we'll move it around and we'll talk about it tomorrow a little bit. Let's have a look and see what we've got inside. And now we're starting to get some boxes. All right, so that's an aluminum side table. I'm gonna guess that this is the same thing. And we've got a left and right here. So we'll keep those in the boxes so we know what's what. What else we got? A little grill tool there. We got box four. Open that up real quick and see what's in there. Really, I'm looking for an instruction manual and more of a clue of what the heck we're looking at still. These will be the wheels. Leave those alone. What's here? Box two. Got a ring here. Might be for the stand itself. here. So I got a little bit of a clue. Let's see if I can move this guy around so you can see what I see. What the heck are we looking at? Looks like we've got our traditional Kimono Joe style vent across the bottom, but we have this big box with what looks to be pit probes, three pit probes, I'm gonna say. And if we look up top here, we've got the Komodo Joe Connected Joe. Well, I'm starting to understand why it's such a secret. Nothing else like this on the market today. And it's a digitally connected ceramic grill. Oh, went the wrong way. Whole bunch of parts here. The first thing I noticed back here is this pit probe temperature. You guys know I've got my Yoder and very similar setup there. We've got a bunch of things going on on the inside here. This is more than likely the divide and conquer rack or something similar to it. Now, if you've ever had a Komodo Joe before, you know exactly what these are. These are to build our firebox. They come in separate pieces. You put them around the outside and away you go. We've got you know, the oven material type gasket, which Komodo Joe is known for in the last couple versions. Got some cables here. I got to assume that's for this pit controller there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I am very curious to see what's all going on here in, as far as the controller. What, what can we do with it? We got to get this thing put together so we can try it out. So I've had a chance to kind of clean up a little bit so we can show you what exactly is in here. I gotta tell you, I'm quite excited. I mean, I am a gadget guy. 
If you guys haven't, uh, if you've been around for a little while, you know that about me. I literally have an eight foot shelf downstairs uh, that is all kinds of gadgets from meat slicers to vacuum sealers to pasta makers. I mean, you name it, I, I got it. <laughs> I inherit it, honestly. Uh, some other people in my family had the same addiction. So, you know, when I see something like this, also being a tech, I love technology, so I am super, super excited to see what's going on here. Obviously, we've got a little bit of work to do to put this together, but we've got a bunch of individual boxes. I've opened them up so I can kind of see what's in them. I'm thinking down here somewhere. Got a couple more boxes here. And the only thing that I have not found yet is the instruction manual. So let's see if I can open up some more boxes here and dig a little deeper. There we go. I knew it'd be here somewhere. Uh, we've got some tools. Obviously we've got a little bit to put together, not too much. Power cord, a grill gripper. I don't even know what that is. Oh, yes I do. Sorry. Of course I do. Tongs to pick up your grill with. And then we've got some probes for a probe. Uh, these will be for the side tables, disengage tool. Um, so very important. If you've never had a Komodo Joe before, give you a, let me give you an up close. Disengage tool. You want to hang on to this. Do not lose it or throw it away. This tool is designed to adjust your hinge. All Kimono Joes come with this. And for those of you not aware, I actually owned a Big Joe for just over three years. So I am familiar with a lot of this. So it's interesting to be back working with a Joe. Super excited about it. And we've got some grates here, probe. Let's see what's in this box. This one's a little heavier. Oh, here's our chimney. This goes on top. This is how we adjust airflow, although I gotta tell you, I am a little curious because we've got some wizardry going on here, technology. How is this gonna incorporate? But it actually, it does have the dial on it just like it normally would. And, it, whoops, it does open full, like a traditional Komodo Joe would. So, I still have lots of questions. It's so weird to do an unboxing of something that you have no idea what it is and you've never seen it before. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna break this down beside me so I can lay some parts down so they don't get damaged. This is the top and bottom. Box three times two. These are gonna be some legs. Now the one thing I'm noticing is that we've got the upgraded, now these are all, looks like they're, they're powder coated. We've got the upgraded uh, stand here. I had a series two that still had the old, not wobbly, but <laughs> um, not nearly as well as design of stand as this guy does. So we know that here's the rest of our legs. These guys are our side tables here, right? Now I had the series two and they were not made out of aluminum. Now they are, but they're gonna go right here and these are collapsible. So what I'm gonna do here is we've got some super easy pictures to follow here. I'm not gonna bore, bore you with that. We're gonna put it together and I'll do a little montage and we'll get it put together for you. So we've got our base together. A couple things to go over real quick. Number one, we want our logo facing forward. Number two, we want our locking wheels on the front. As you move this around, you want your locks easily accessible. And number three, we've got these slots going perpendicular or parallel to the logo there. And now all we gotta do is get this bad boy on top. 
not quite like any other Komodo Joe you've ever seen. First off, we notice our ceramic kind of stops here and we've got some metal here. We've got a bunch of holes here for airflow and we've got this burner here. As a dead giveaway, this is not just your average Komodo Joe. All right, so we're on our stand. Now for safety reasons, I did not film that. It specifically tells you in the instructions that Komodo Joe recommends two people. I don't have someone home and I don't wanna just bother my neighbor real quick. If I could do it on my own, which it turned out I could, lock your front brakes, put it beside and just come on up and over. Luckily, you don't have to go too high uh, to go over this, so you can do it. Although again, Komodo Joe recommends two people doing it just for safety reasons. But what we'll do is we will unlock. So we've just got stainless screws with a, a washer and a lock washer that goes against the metal. Use this a little bit. And you can see what's happening here is I'm just twisting it a little bit. I just tightened up the back one by hand to help hold it in place. And you don't have to over tighten that. I mean, it's got weight. And you don't have to over tighten the bottom by any means. Obviously we've got gravity holding this into place that just locks it to the cart. And now what we can do is we can start working on the outside. And what are we doing here? Well, we're gonna start the firebox and then we will put the handle and our side tables on. Let's bring in close and we'll do that. All right, so what we have to do now is we have to put our, we have to build our firebox. And to do that, I'm actually gonna steal a page out of James's book from Smoking Dad Barbecue. I remember the first time I put together a Komodo Joe firebox and it was a little bit of a frustrating experience. And this will make it super, super easy. And here's what we're doing. All right, so these are gonna kinda go in here like this. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna put a ring on top. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some paper towel, which will just burn up later. And now we're gonna hold this up a little bit. So let's put a few of these guys in here and they kinda go in behind each other like so. Same thing here. Then we'll take our next piece, which can go here. And then finally, we want to slip that under, underneath like so. Take your time and wiggle it into place a little bit. There we go. And now we have our ring here. Actually, you didn't even need the paper towel trick after all. They sit, it sits up nicely. So now what we do is we take our command and conquer rack. We start to put that together. As you can see, it kind of sits like so. We've got some little grooves here. And as I look at our, our rack here, we've got digitally connected charcoal grilling. A little bit about it. We've got a control board and fan. It's wirelessly connected. We've got to get the app and we've got some cook modes and then other languages that I can't read. <laughs> so we will take this off. So there's our, our top, right? Command and Cocker allows us to have multiple layers if we need. I mean, from this point on, as far as assembly, this is just like any size or style, All right? We've got our star, oops, which you can use here. Now, I know that there's a new Accessory coming out for this, and we will have that soon to play with, but you can have your star so that you can put your ceramic shields down higher. They can also go down lower right here. All right, so we've got one down here. We'll put another one up here. You can put the star there. You can raise them up higher, however you want. But now you're into some Kamado grilling. Let's put our side tables and our handle on, and we're almost done. And what we're doing here is we're gonna make these go inwards and the opening to be up. Now do not over tighten these, just make them nice and snug. And here we are, we're all put together. 
Her total time was an hour and 34 minutes. Now remember, that's me moving around cameras, getting another rum and coke, and taking my time to, to get some shots. So really, if you just kind of focused on this, I bet you I cost myself at least another 20 minutes just moving things around. So it really doesn't take that long to get this guy together. We have one pit probe, which again will go down here. We have a power. And the one thing that I have not shown you guys yet is the back. And as you can see, we have a rocker switch down here. This is where our, our power is going to go. Like so. We of course do have our easy lift hinge. What do we got going on down here? A little wire tie here. And plugs in right beside our computer there, or beside our controller power. And that's it. Super easy to put together, very well packed. Again, I did this all by myself, no problem, uh, but I would recommend just having a neighbor or uh, a spouse help you. It's not super heavy, so two of you could lift it into the stand. Uh, other than that, you can do the rest of it yourself. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this, it is 35 mile an hour winds outside and rain now. So we're gonna fire this guy up tomorrow and I'll show you the first start. The rain has stopped, the wind has stopped. We're finally back on the patio and now it's time to take our first look at the brand new Komodo Joe Connected Joe. So before we fire this up, a couple things. Number one, you can use this thing like a classic Komodo Joe, throw some charcoal in there, use your grill blazing grill gun or some little wax cubes, starter cubes, fire them up, use your dials, use your vent down here and use it just like a manual Komodo Joe. You can also pour some lump in here and without it powered on, just hit this button right here and that will start our burner inside and it'll run for up to 15 minutes and then I'll just get it started. So if you don't want to mess with anything, you can fill it up, push that button, walk away and come back out. And then from that point, you can adjust your vents and away you go. You can also use this in fully automatic mode. And essentially what you do is you program in your temperature here, you leave this bottom vent closed and there's a fan in here and the fan stokes the fire and controls your temperature and away you go. So who's this designed for? Well, it's designed for a lot of different people. There are some people that are a little intimidated about getting into Kamado style cooking and maybe they've just resisted it because they're worried about a learning curve. This gets rid of that learning curve for you. So you can get into that and easily start turning out some amazing food. It could also be, you know, from, from my perspective, my wife will not come out and use my girls. <laughs> She's a little nervous about them. But from this thing, I can clean this up in the morning, I could fill it up with charcoal, and she could start it up and start to use it. So that's actually my plan this summer is I'm gonna teach my wife how to grill. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out. Uh, but you know, I told her a little bit about this after we were talking about last night and I showed her what it looked like. And I said, you know what, this is something you could probably use. So she's gonna give it a shot, but you know, it all depends on how you wanna use it, but you've got lots of different options. The one thing you would have noticed is when we open this up, we now say dojo, jotisserie, and griddle, full. There's a new accessory coming out that I don't have yet, but I do know about that. And it's a, it's a griddle that'll go across the top. Uh, that should be coming out quite soon, but you can select you know, which, what you're gonna use here and that'll help with your vent settings and everything. So why don't I bring you in? We'll load this guy up and we'll fire it up. Take two, camera actually died. So you can see I filled this up once. However, the camera did die. So we're gonna do it one more time. I'm using some Bear Mountain Hickory wood chunks. They recently came out with some chunks. They're a nice, good size. So we're gonna use a little bit of that today. And what I've done is I've just put one in the middle. We're gonna put some fogo around it. And 
And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bury one more piece in the back here. And what this just does is this is going to help the wood smolder and burn through some hot lump. And it just makes for an even cleaner smoke. All right, there we go. Let's go for our first fire up. So if we don't accept, or sorry, accept, if we don't select one of these options here, right, and we just use these buttons, uh, all we do is we just close our lid. And we're going to, I think we're going to open this up. And what we'll do is we will hit our ignite button, which starts to glow red for us. Let's see, temp, reminder. All right, so it's giving you a reminder to close the draft door. When you hit temperature, now we're gonna hit our target temp and our target temperature for our first start. I'm just gonna do it at 250. Just push in. 225. Ah, there we go. You got to hit the timer button again. My bad. I hear it come on. I can hear the fan and it tells you right away where to put your vent. And it's telling you to put it very, very slightly open. So you've got a little built-in coach there and I can hear the fan. And uh, what we'll do is we'll start a timer and see what happens here. This is, this is really weird for me. I've got, uh, I opened it up to the first line here, or just beyond the first line, and uh, whew, what are we gonna do? This uh, seems about right. Cheers. So it's only been two minutes and 23 seconds. We've already come up 10 degrees. I can hear a little bit of crackling. So that's interesting. So we gave an extra few minutes just to see what happened here. We're now at eight, 13 minutes and 48 seconds. And we're sitting at 2.30. It got up to about 2.36 and it started to come down. So it's going to be, uh, oh, we just came down to 2.28. Gonna be getting dialed in here. We're not hot here yet, okay? We are actually warm, we can feel that. The beauty of Kamal style cooking is you want your ceramics to suck up all that heat energy and fire it back in your meat. So you really don't want to start cooking until you get this up to temperature. So even though we're up to temperature and, you know, it started, it was around nine minutes, eight minutes and 30 seconds or so that it was fully dialed in or fully up to temperature, sorry. And now we're going to let it get dialed in for a little bit longer, but we're going to wait maybe another five, 10 minutes. And then we're going to get into our first cook. Now we're going to do that in the next video. So if you're not subscribed yet, please do so below. I will be doing lots of cooks on this guy in the coming weeks. We're going to show you what it's all about. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.